everybody. My name is Annie B and welcome to my channel. I am participating in a monthly collab called Jury Making Fun Collab and is the collab it hosted by Ms. Deb Hulk of Dahlia Designs. Now there are other participants and I have them listed in the description below. So please, after my video, after you watch my video, you got to watch it all. <laughs> Just go back and uh, look at under the description and check out everybody else's video and look at all the different creation and design that we all come up with using the same theme. Now, like I said, this is a monthly collab. This is the 2022 Jury Making Fun Collab. And on the 18th of each month at 12 noon Eastern uh, time, uh, we are to post our video. And as I stated, the um, collab is hosted by Delia Design, Jury and Moore, AKA Ms. Deb Hawk. And thank you, Ms. Deb, again, as always, for um, letting me participate because it actually gives me something to look forward to every month. So we've done January, February, March, April, May, and I just can't get over it. We're in May already. So let me check off May because I have completed my assignment. And as you can see, the we have a color. We have an option, option one and an option two. And this month is May, and we are doing peach or orange. We can use uh, silver findings. And to make a sunshiny piece, um, we can use sun charms or a clasp. So let me tell you what happened to me. You know, I don't, my husband said it's setting in. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm getting older, but for some reason, I, I don't know. Let me show you what I, what I did. I did not, I, I saw this peach and orange, right? But it didn't register. I saw peach and yellow. <laughs> you know, I said I saw peach and yellow, so I went ahead. I was Miss Smarty Pants. I made this about three weeks ago. So I made my yellow things. <laughs> <laughs> These are the items that I was making for May, but this is wrong. This is the wrong color, Annie Bell. Oh my God. So I got frustrated with myself. I'm not even going to talk about it, the colors or whatnot anymore. But I got so frustrated with myself. I told my husband about it. But like I said, he said, just sit in the end. <laughs> just had a birthday right so i'm getting older so i just got disgusted with it i put it all in a bag sealed it up put it aside went out to joanne's and i got okay i got my orange beads I, um the color is peach or orange so i decided to go with orange for some reason and i finally got on track and i'm using everything that i need so everything i need i'm gonna show you the piece that i made Okay, these are the items that I made. I made a Kumi, Kumihimo bracelet and I made a pair of matching earrings. But before I go into any details about it, it is so amazing. I had used all of these <laughs> just to make that simple piece there. And I have a tip at the end that I wanna share with you um, that I, that, well, I'm sure it's not new, but it was new for me. But I use all of this just to make those uh, items that I'm going to share with you today. I use the Eslon glue, different type beads and everything. Well, it's the E6000. You can use any kind of glue, I guess. And I use the, um, these are some five millimeter beads that I have. And these are some Mayuki beads. These are the orange ones that I got from um, uh, Hobby Lobby because I had to run back after I discovered I made a major mistake in making yellow instead of orange. <laughs> so, and I wanted a contrasting color. So I got some galvanized steel bees here. And these are, uh, what are these? Are these, I think they're Levino. Let's see. I know it's on here. It is on here. No, they are not. They are Edo. These are 80 bees that I use um, for this project. And I use um, the weight, of course, and I use my board. Uh, where is my board? I got everything up here, but my board, hold on a sec. Okay, this is my disc that I use. Um, this is the smaller one. Um, 
I kind of like the small one for some reason, but um, this is the board I used for the, um, well, this is the chemo, uh, Kumi Hemo disc <laughs> for braiding cords. So I used this. And I, of course, had to have my, um, the bead caps that I had the uh, for the cord, for the end cords. And I measured, had to have a measuring uh, device so I can figure out which one of these caps I'm going to use. And I, of course, have my needles that I use because I didn't, I scooped up all of those um, of little bees with the needle and I had to have scissors and I had to have all of these pliers <laughs> and I actually used the um, cutters the round nose the flat nose the wire straightener and all of these these are all the tools that I use for this project so yeah that is it and I use some pair of wire did I mention that I got so much here because I made the loop and everything on it. So, yeah, this is it. See all this stuff, all of this <laughs> to make a beautiful project. So let me show you exactly what I made. Okay, these are the items that I made. I made a Kumihimo um, bracelet and uh, I made the matching earrings to the, uh, got such a glare to it. Let's see if I can move the light a little bit. Oh, well, shaking the camera. I hope that helped a little bit. But anywho, these are the items that I made. And I used, um, as you can see, I used the uh, eight millimeters, um, my Yuki C beads here. Hold on a sec. I am, okay, I think that's a little bit better. I had to readjust the light some. But um, let me take it off this card because that white probably is too much. But these are the items that I made. And, and as I said, I used these two type um, of CBs here. And I used the, um, it said to make a sunny piece. And I think it's a sunny piece. And I'm to use some um, charms. And I used a sunny charm here. And if you get the bargain bee box, I'm sure this is familiar to you. This little charm right here. I mean, well, this little clasp right here. It came in one of the boxes. I remember pulling it out of the bag, but I cannot remember which month. But um, if you got the box, I'm sure that's familiar with you. And I wouldn't be surprised if somebody didn't use this one as well. But I also used some uh, B caps that I had. I didn't have any end caps. So I decided to use some B caps and I used some wire and I just worked that wire through those beads and Hopefully it and I glued it and uh, hopefully it'll stay in place. I'm hoping it will. And I topped it with one of those five millimeter five millimeter beads that I have, and I made this piece. Now this is not my design. I saw this on um, on one of the YouTube videos, and I got to start writing that stuff down because I I would like to give people credit that I got it from that I you know. So this is the piece that I used, made, and I think it turned out very nice. And that sun charm, that is so cute. Look at there, isn't it nice? You know, this is the first time I ever work with the, uh, the disc here. It's just, it's fun. I understand that a lot of people were doing this when they was children. I didn't do this when I was children. I didn't, I mean, when I was a child, I worked, I didn't go to camp, so. This is some of the things that uh, this is uh, one of the um, one of the games that they used to use at a camp. I understand, and it's a Japanese um, invention. But all in all, I think it turned out nice. And don't forget the earrings. I decided to use uh, the same beads. I used the galvanized silver, and I used the orange beads here, and I made a little dangle, a little tassel uh, set of the earrings. You know, I'm into tassel right now. It just got to filter it way through me. <laughs> and I use um, uh, the ear hook here, just the uh, fish hook ear uh, wire. And I made this pair. And I think they turned out very nice. That's the orange, <laughs> not the yellow. I just can't believe it. Oh, Lord, but I had a ball doing it. But that's it. That's what I am presenting to you guys uh, this month for the May of 2022. 
And uh, again, I made the, um, I used the orange beads, I used uh, silver findings, and I made a sunshiny piece. I think it's a sunshiny piece. This is nice. This has turned out really, really nice. Look at there. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this for myself. I need to go get me something to wear with it. Isn't it beautiful? Look at there. Okay, that's it. Let me stop. I'm just, I'm just admiring my own work. <laughs> so I'm finished with that. But let me show you my tip. Okay, this is my tip. When I was uh, working with these tiny beads, and it'll work on any tiny beads. Well, mainly seed bead. And um, you know, you have all these beads, and you, you instead of you trying to get them up after you finish, you're getting them up, and you're pushing them in, you push them in this way and that way and everything. So what I, I, I have a scooper, but I could not find my scooper at the time. So what I did was I took a straw. This is just a straw you get from any fast food place. I mainly get these from Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. So I keep my straws. And what I did was I just scooped them up. Instead of you taking them up a little bit at a time, and it was it's, it and it was satisfying, just scooping them up just like this. And when you finish, you got them all up. Now you can sit here and you can do it one at a time. I got a strange bee in there. I don't know where that where that little bee came from, but I just scooped them up and put them all in the in the container. So you got all your bees, and it doesn't take that long to scoop them up. Now you got them all up. They're all in the tube. And just simply put them in there. And there you go. You got a clean surface. But guess what happened? After I came, after I did that, I went to put everything back up. And I went to put my straw back in its little slot. Look what I found. <laughs> I found my bee scooper. But guess what I did with it? I was so angry with it. I just put it back in this little slot where it belongs. So I am going to keep this with my little stash. And this will be my emergency scooper. So that is my tip for the month. Okay, well, that is it for me. And um, yeah, that's it. I had a great time. So don't forget to go back and check out all the other participants and see what they came up with. I'm excited myself, so I will be checking it out. So I will see you next month. And as always, thank you for watching. And, you know, always take a peek at next month. And hopefully, prayerfully, I won't get it wrong for the month of June. Okay, okay. Oh, I like this one. Oh. We're trying a, a technique. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so I will see you guys in um, June. So take care, be blessed, and above all, be safe. Bye-bye.